right, guys, welcome to Showbiz News. I'm your boy, Edward, a.k.a. Fresh. This is where we bring you top-notch stories making the entertainment rounds. So, right, let's go straight into it. Popular Nollywood actress Tonto DK has decided to undergo another cosmetic surgery. She took to her Instagram to let her fans know, according to her, she has so far done two cosmetic surgeries. Tonto DK has now revealed that she's set for a third surgery and that it'll cost way more than the previous ones she's had. A whooping five million naira. So, Tonto DK, wish you all the best. Popular singing sensation Simi Sola has come on the backlash from her fans due to the line she used on her FU Challenge cover, stating Shemu Kolani. Following the backlash she received that lyrics is insensitive and derogatory, Simi had to apologize for her actions. She says, guys, I had to bring down my post because I used the line Abi Urubi Mu Kolani. Do you think I have tribal marks? Which people mean to say, am I stupid? It's an old Yoruba joke, but I never acknowledge how insensitive it is. It offended some people, and I shouldn't have used it. She also added another tweet that, I don't want to trend for the wrong reasons. Please. So guys, Simi is out here to apologize, and I believe we should take it lightly. So Bonner Boy apologizes for kicking a fan in Zambia while he was performing. According to Bonner Boy, he won the fan who was trying to rub him before he kicked him. The singer further disclosed that the man he kicked wasn't a fan at all, and the way it looked in the video wasn't how it seemed. He said, I'm sorry about how it looks, but this person continuously tried to rub me on stage. It was like the tenth time he tried to do that, and I decided to retaliate. This guy wasn't a fan. He apologizes for how it looks, and it's not the case at all. I really appreciate my fans. Apparently, the guy tried to steal his ring while he was performing, and you can see that from the video. Blackface blocks Two-Face on Instagram. During the early hours of Monday, the 1st of April, Nigerian single Blackface, a former a member of the Plantation Boys group, has blocked fellow singer Two-Face on Instagram due to their ongoing feud between them and the African Queen crooner. He shared a screenshot of what he did and captioned, Ja, please block any atom of regress this week and more happy new week, hashtag BFN fans only, hashtag BFN movement. Some of his followers slammed him and called him childish for taking out such actions. And now on the foreign scene, Nipsey Hussle's music sales increased 2,700% more in the U.S. market after his passing on Sunday. Following the murder of Nipsey Hussle on Sunday, his sales of his music increased 2,700% in U.S., and his fans mourned the rapper through downloading his music. According to Billboard, Nipsey recently released a single, Racks in the Middle, sold nearly 3,000 downloads. The late rapper's studio album, Victory Lap, sold 1,000 copies on Sunday. The set debuted and peaked at number four on the Billboard 200 chart, dated March 2018. The Los Angeles rapper, whose real name was Emrys David Eschkadom, was shot multiple times outside his clothing store, Marathon Clothing Company, in the Hyde Park neighborhood of L.A. Law enforcement revealed he was shot alongside two other victims at the store. The 33-year-old father of two was pronounced dead on arrival at the hospital, while the other two victims are in serious condition. Now, that's all we have on Showbiz News. If you have anything you want us to talk about, hit us up through the social media platforms and the number on your screen, and we will see you guys next week. Thank you. To enjoy more of this, our Ogunge videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.